Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pella, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this morning, on the, in this new week, uh, with a scripture reading from Revelation chapter 20, verse 7 through 15. When the thousand years are ended, Satan will be released from his prison and will come out to deceive the nations at the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, in order to gather them for battle. They are as numerous as the sands of the sea. They marched up over the breadth of the earth and surrounded the camp of the saints and the beloved city. And fire came down from heaven and consumed them. And the devil who had deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and sulfur, where the beast and the false prophet were. And they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Then I saw a great white throne and the one who sat on it. The earth and the heaven fled from his presence, and no place was found for them. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were opened. Also another book was opened, the book of life. And the dead were judged according to their works as recorded in the books. And the sea gave up the dead that were in it. Death and Hades gave up the dead that were in them, and all were judged according to what they had done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. And anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. That's our reading today from Revelation. If you will, please join me now in a time together in prayer. Let us now pray together. Dear God, your people are experiencing life in ways that we have never had to before, especially over the last few years. And help us to help those that are struggling with this day's reality, especially through lonely days. We thank you for the natural creations that you've made, Lord, and the joy that we can find through these wonders for both blue and gray skies and the sun rising and setting today. We thank you for the food on our tables, for those who check in on us, and for the hope of a better tomorrow, which through you, Lord, we, we will be seeing. Lead us to do good in this world that you've created as we walk outside into it, as we know your spirit will always be with us through it all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow morning as well. Hope you all have a great start to your week today.